One question I've been asked a number of times over the years is, could God have used evolution? Now, interesting question, because some people would say, well, God can do anything. He is God. Uh, Scripture even says, for with God nothing is impossible. So surely if God wanted to use evolution, he could have used evolution. But I would answer differently. I would say, no, God couldn't have used evolution. Now you might say, well, why would that be? Because God could do anything he wants to. But God can't go against his nature. That's a really important point. You see, God created everything and it was very good. There was no death or suffering in the world. In fact, in the New Testament, when there was a, a rich young ruler came to Jesus and said, good master, Jesus said, why do you call me good? There's only one good, and that is God. In other words, to understand what the word good means, we need to look at the attributes of God. And God is a God of love. And God is a God who doesn't sin and can't sin. See, there's something else God can't do. He can't sin because he is God. Now, when you consider the, the idea of evolution, evolution involves death, disease, suffering over millions of years as animals supposedly evolve and die and eat each other and suffer from all sorts of diseases. At the end of the time when God finished creating everything, after he created man, he created everything else, he said everything he made was very good. There was no death or disease in the world. In fact, the Bible calls death an enemy. It's an intrusion because of our sin. Going back to Genesis, God said to Adam, as uh, obviously a test of obedience, Adam, you can eat of all the trees, just one you're not to eat of, because if you do, you surely die. Well, Adam ate of that tree. That's where sin came from, rebellion against God, and a consequence of sin was death. So the death we see in the world today and disease because everything's falling apart, the whole creation groans, Romans 8 says, because of our sin. Well, that's not God doing that. That's our sin that did that. In other words, God's not responsible for the death and suffering we see in the world today. Our sin is. That's why God sent his son to die on a cross to suffer death because death was a penalty for sin. If you raised from the dead, offer a free gift of salvation. One day, death is going to be thrown into the lake of fire. You see, if God used evolution, he would have used a process of death, disease, suffering over millions of years to bring man into existence. No, that goes against the very nature of God, a God who is a loving God, God who's responsible for life, a God who said everything was very good in the first place and tells us that death is an enemy, death is an intrusion, death will be thrown into the lake of fire one day and there'll be a new heavens and a new earth where there'll be no more death or sin or suffering or disease. So no, God couldn't have used evolution. God did not use evolution. God created the way he tells us he did in Genesis chapters 1 through 11 and particularly Genesis 1 being the overview of creation and then the rest of uh, Genesis 1 to 11 tells us the events of history as a result of man's sin. And of course, the promise of the Savior that God would provide a way for us to come back to be with him.